Hey y'all, Leslie here. Wanted to show you a sped up version of my removal. Um, I need to remove my jams today, so see if there are um, any additional tips that I can offer you. The first thing you're gonna do is, I like to use my orange stick and just begin breaking that seal right around the edge. You don't wanna go too far with this. Um, basically you want just enough so that when you have your coconut oil with your floss your coconut oil on your flosser you can get it under there and start working it peeling is where we get into trouble with damage of course and I know it can get tempting if you're out and about and your one of your nails really starts to lift bad get stuff stuck under it or something but I promise it is not worth it wait until you're home Save that nail. Okay, so I've gone around the edge of that and I'm gonna turn my heater on over here. The heat reactivates um, the adhesive, so that helps a little bit. And then I've got my coconut oil in my cup and my dental flosser. So I am going to get a generous amount on there. I do use a lot of this stuff. It's easy to wipe away with a paper towel when you're done. Um, but I, like I said in my first video, I think of this as a little massage for my fingernails and really think it helps moisturize them. So I'm going to catch the flosser, kind of go ahead and go work that oil all the way around. And then I flip it down under my finger and this is really key. I rock back and forth, apply a little bit of heat, get that all nice and warmed up, working, doing its thing and then rock back and forth. I'm pulling my flosser in a downward motion. This really ensures that I don't tug at any of the layers of my nail. So, I know some of you have seen the photo of when I've removed clear wraps over lacquer and the lacquer layer is pretty much entirely left behind with this. I know a lot of my jam sisters are using the um, Jamberry lacquer remover for their removal. However, I just I have a lot of trouble with that really drying out my fingertips, the one that I'm using to work it in. So that has not worked well for me. There that jam is removed. No tugging at all. Just slid right off. I can go ahead and wipe that down with my paper towel that I've got over here handy. And then... I'm going to go ahead, just in case I've got any adhesive left behind, this is our Jamberry lacquer remover. I do like that it comes in this nice pump top. So, these are the makeup rounds I was talking about that are lint free on the quilted side. You just pump it, you can see you've got a little bit on there. And really, a little bit of this goes a long way for me. Like most Jamberry products, our base coats, our lacquers, I know a few lacquers need several coats, but um. There are some good colors out there, ladies, that want to take a long coat. I can let you know which are some of my favorites if you're interested in ever trying them. So, got that adhesive remover. You can see how nice and clean that nail is. I can't ever get my camera to focus. But anyway, um, ever since doing this coconut oil remover and consistently using the strengthening base coat under my wraps, I really have not had any damage whatsoever. And in fact, stronger nails than ever with that layer of protection. So anyway, I am still trying to decide what to put on next. And I will be looking to you all for some input. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.